Vape thing. Future truth teller. Vape thing. Future truth teller. Mayor Pete Buttigieg retires from political life and public service after discovering how amazing pussy is. Vape thing. Future truth teller. COVID-19 is found to have been produced by Donald Trump and Mark Burnett for the deadliest season of Survivor yet. Vape thing. Future truth teller. Live concerts return with rigorous safety protocols and a strict ban on puddle of mud. Vape thing. Future truth teller. Seattle is pushed to the brink when anarchists elect for mayor the headless body of Kurt Cobain. Vape thing. Future truth teller. Basketball becomes the prototype for all continued pro sports in the corona era. Unfortunately the NBA bubble dies of AIDS. Vape thing. Future truth teller. President Biden federally legalizes marijuana after accidentally eating a pot cookie and watching reruns of Leave it to Beaver. Vape thing. Future truth teller. in Texas make some fucking noise Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the world famous Comedy Store main room for one more time. Here's Tony Hitchcliffe! What? Yo! Here we are again, back home at the world famous Comedy Store. So excited. Christmas coming up, Red Band. What's yes. happening? Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. That's what they say. Yep. Happy, Christmas happy, happy, happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas to you. Yep. Here we are again, so excited to be here at the World Famous Comedy Store. This is such an incredible, <laughs> incredible place. Yes. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, I'm so happy to be here, guys. And you know who else is happy to be here? The great Ryan J. E. Belt, everyone. Look at this fucking stud. There it is. Wow. He leaned deep into that wave and smile this time. He's already started drawing tonight's episode. He draws every episode, including tonight's, and they're all available at RyanJEBelt.com. Big, famous, cool tour posters from the past and any one of your favorite episodes featuring all of your favorite comedians. RyanJEBelt.com to get those prints. You know who else is here, Red Band? You know who else? No. Oh. Charlie from Vito's Pizza what? is here keeping us fed, having fun, kicking butt. Gino from Speedweed, Better Box Studios is here. It's a star-studded fucking, just like the old days. Remember the old days when we used to have fucking Nate Diaz and Gary Clark Jr. and fucking... Obama's daughter and all these people are here to see Kill Tony. Anyway, uh, we're having fun, though. We're plowing through it. Nothing depressing about having nine people in a room built for uh, 603. It's perfect. It, it, the, the acoustics, you know? It's about the acoustics is what they say. The fucking acoustics. But I'm excited to be here, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. But before tonight's episode gets fully fucking going... Here's a little word from our amazing sponsors that made this episode available for you. Hiring can be challenging, but ZipRecruiter makes it fast and easy. One CEO, Ali, needed to hire for a multifaceted role at his wallpaper company, Walls Need Love. He was looking for someone who was the right fit for his team and culture, but his search was slow going. 
so he turned to ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter's powerful matching technology identifies the right people for your job and actively invites them to apply, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's how Ali found Savannah Ray. Allie said Savannah's skills and experience were a great match for the role. Plus, she applied within a few days after he posted the job. Through ZipRecruiter, Allie has hired everyone from head of marketing to his sales director to lead graphic designer. But Allie's not the only employer who loves ZipRecruiter. That's right. A lot of them do. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself how ZipRecruiter makes hiring faster and easier. Try it for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash K-I-L-L-T-O-N-Y. ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. We have a guest this week. Very, very exciting stuff. This guy, a uh, comedy store employee when I got here, when I started. Next thing you know, he's... Uh, He's Shrek on Broadway. He has his own show on Nickelodeon, Big Time Rush, one of the stars of it. And uh, he's just uh, an overall great comedian, great guy, one of our good friends, ladies and gentlemen. It's the great Stephen Glickman. Wow. Very exciting. Here he is. This is one big boy. The great Stephen Glickman. Ah, likeable, yes. Likeable, lovable, the host of the Nighttime Show podcast. <sighs> one of the incredible voices of one of my favorite animated movies I've ever watched, The Monster Hunter. Uh, <laughs> it hasn't come out yet. Oh, but God bless you. You mean storks. <laughs> you mean storks. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Storks. Storks. Yeah. Storks. Yes. Yeah. I get them all confused. <laughs> I get them all, all confused. All the, all the children movies <laughs> yes. get you confused. How's it going, Stephen? Oh, I'm fine. I'm happy to be here. This is nice. You've been a guest on the show numerous times, so I won't bore you with any of the particulars. But you do remember there's a band here, right? I do, Every and I love week, a band. Every single week they commit to being different characters. Sometimes it's the return of some of their famous characters. We never know what they're going to be. We're all going to find out what they are together right now. Let's do it. As I present to you the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, Jetski, Jesse Johnson, and Chroma Chris, maybe? No, nope, no Chroma Chris. Uh-oh. Jeremiah, Joel, and Jetski, the big three J's. A lot of J's. Oh. Whoa. We've seen these guys before. <laughs> if there was a crowd here, they would be going crazy because they are the cat burglars tonight. Whoa, wow, look at that one over there. Burglars. Sneaky little devil. Oh, my look goodness. Oh, she's actually part cat, it seems. Wow. <laughs> she's more cat than burglar. That's an interesting twist. My goodness gracious. <laughs> Jeremiah, really banking on you using that camera one angle. Over it's there. too dark to even see him. Either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going everywhere. Look at this. Uh-oh, what does that look like? Whoa, that's a good one. Wow, you nailed it on that one. Nice Very job. good. Nice Jeremiah Very Watkins, good. Cat Burglar. They have arrived. Some of the most famous Kill Tony characters in the history. I believe they were even in the uh, in the famous <laughs> band calendar, <laughs> right? What month were you? <laughs> December. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it slips my memory, Tony. <laughs> Get back <alive. laughs> <laughs> wow. Welcome back, Cat Burglar. Famously a cat burglar, an old timey burglar that would sneak into places and uh, hope to get away. Thanks Steal to the jewels, diamonds, and women's hearts. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Well, I've been taking the underwear, dude. Is it supposed to be the heart? And then is your name Cat Burglar, too, back there? I always forget. You guys are just cat burglars? This is one of the. Shh. All right. And I know for a fact, it's the first time we've seen this young lady be a cat burglar, I do believe. Uh, it, it seems like she is more p p cat than actual burglar. You have actual qualities of a cat. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I had something in my throat. Uh, it's great to be here. That's another. And you, your name's just Cat Burglar as well? Shh. 
No, Johnny, I don't know. Johnny, we keep getting caught because of her. She keeps leaving strands is of sh- hair everywhere. That is sh- one, and that is sh- two, and I am cat burglar. <laughs> I swear to God, I just wrote down cat burglar three times. It's part of my system. We are very different people, Tony. <laughs> Uh, so, or are we? Wow, look at that. It's so exciting. We have uh, the cat burglars and the hamburglers are here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God Surrounded damn it. by them. Hamburglar. We have Glickman, Red Band, and the cat burglars. Are you guys ready to start tonight's episode or what? <laughs> All right. That sounds good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start tonight's episode with a goddamn legend. One of my favorite human beings in the world. One of my favorite comedians. New York, Chicago, LA zone. The great. Michael Lehrer, everybody. Now, before I was a comedian or a magician or a rapper or a karaoke, I was a musical theater Summer Sunk Thespian. And as 2020 comes to an end, I want to go back to my roots and um, play a little game for fun to start off the show on a silly note. Now, <laughs> 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 Ryan... Listen, there are names of 50 musicals in this bag. I bring them. Tony will pull out a musical, and I have to sing a song from that musical. When you think I've done enough, pick a new one. If I know no one, I'll pass do you have a Tony Award, Glickman? Glickman, do you have a Tony Award? Uh, no, I, I do not. Uh-huh. But you play Shrek on Broadway? Uh, I, well, it's yes. A, it's a long story. It's a terrible show. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it does not deserve a Tony, a Tony Award. God. That is sort of a tough question to open up with somebody. Like, I mean, <laughs> there's other ways you could have asked that. Do you have a Tony Award? I feel like uh, a lot of the people you ask that to, they're going to say no. Yeah. No, but Bryce Darning Campbell, or whatever the fucking name is, the guy oh, I see in... what you're doing. If you pass, you're going to give it to Glickman. Yeah. Oh, you know your musicals, don't you? I do. Whoa, I do. how exciting. All right. You didn't even know Glickman was going to be the guest, and you had a musical thing. Um, yeah. The universe makes all this shit happen. Wow. You're a special guy, Michael. Yeah, He I really am. is. He's, he's pretty special. Thank you, Glickman. Wait, wait a second. Those are my Altoids. What are you doing with those? <laughs> Get the glass. Oh, come on. I love my Altoids. <sighs> oh, Cat Burglar. Ruined forever. I'm All excited right. about this. You guys ready to play some musical theater fucking super challenge with Michael Lair? This is exciting. Christmas right around the corner. Here we go. All right. You want me to pull a name out? Oh All right. Here we go. Here we go. Albert Einstein. <laughs> All right. The Wiz. Um... He's on down, he's on down the road. <laughs> he's on down, he's on down the road. Now there may be times when you wish you were leaving. All right, hair. Um, let the sun shine in. <laughs> let the sun shine in. The sun shine in. <laughs> the saddest uh, version of such a happy song. How, how about company? Um, the ladies who lunch. The ladies who lunch. <laughs> wow. Lickman, can you do that, better? That was great. Yeah, that's uh, impressive. He's passing mm. it off to you. You know the words? I, I don't know the words to that song, but I Uh-oh. yeah, company. I mean, I know the, I know the music. I show. bet he knows something about this. Um, Jersey Boys. You know Jersey Boys. Fun. I know you know Jersey Mikes. <laughs> <laughs> hey. man, come on. Hey. 
Ah, pass. Come on. Jersey Boys, pass. Pass? Oh, pass to come you. On. Uh-oh. God damn it. Oh. Somebody won't <laughs> <laughs> oh, Red Band, that was great! Wow, it sounded just like him. That was great. <laughs> that was that was great. One of them, my favorite Red Band <laughs> moments in the history of the show. <laughs> that was great. You know anything from Jersey Boys? I think I think it's that. It Come on, all, if you're gonna do it, you better commit. Brian, won't you come out tonight? Come, come, come out tonight. Jeremiah has been waiting to sing this for years. Nice job, nice job. Oh, pretty. All right, we're moving on. Porgy and the bees, Michael Air. Porgy and the bees. Porgy and bees? I'm sorry, Porgy and Bess. Oh, for Christ's sake. I don't know what the fuck that is. You uneducated. Porgy and Bess. Okay. He knows Porky uh, and Bess. Por- Por- <laughs> Porky and Bess is a old man river. That old man wow. river. Wow. That's Porky and Bess. Yeah. Wow. Tony Award. Point wow. wow. good one Tony. You wanna me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wanna you. <laughs> All right, how about bye bye birdie? Um um. I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair. I'm going to wash that man That's right That's South Pacific, you son of a bitch. Hey, fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Glickman doesn't know Bye Bye Birdie, but he no. does know I'm I'm Hungry. Bye Bye Birdie. Bye Bye Birdie. How about Evita? Uh, um, don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> the truth is, <laughs> that I would never crazy let you. I've ever been to in my life. This is what it's come to. <laughs> the Argentina, Argentina. <laughs> How about my fair lady? Um, <laughs> um, um. Every duke and earl and peer is here. Everyone who should be here is here. What a dashing positive <laughs> spectacle the Ascot opening day. God damn it. Michael has Amazing. the incredible talent of making oh every God. song sound like the same song. <laughs> How about Cabaret? Uh, life is a cabaret. How about Tommy? Tommy, Pinball Wizard Day has begun. Phantom Pinball. of the Opera. Um, oh, oh, nighttime shopping. Oh my god, this is so amazing. Silently the sun sets a man. Jesus Christ, superstar. Um, um. Uh, uh, what was this during the crucifixion? <laughs> you think you're a big shot, Mr. King? <laughs> Joseph Dreamcoat. Um, I hear the steel drum sing the song. They say he made you know you got him wrong. I hear the voice <laughs> of oh the yellow God. bird singing in the air. This is quite absurd. Oh, no. Not me. Okay, no. right. Yeah, nailed it. Um, Let's open up a restaurant. Come and Santa. knock on my door. He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> How about Godspell? We're just going to go through all these. How many do you think we should go through all these? Okay, yeah, nobody uh, wants it. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Yo, Ryan, what's that Jesus song from God's Praise Praise Praising, oh, yo, 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 Jesus. That's it. How about Music Man? Um, um, if you know uh, any of these, you should just jump right in. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Music Man's easy. 
Gary Indiana, Gary Indiana, <laughs> Gary Indiana, Bob, sweet home. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Um, um, if I only had a brain, <laughs> I would walk away the hours, come running with the Cats. flowers. Cats. Cats. Uh, memories. All in the moonlight. moonlight. Les Mis. Um, master of the house, keeper of the inn. <laughs> He's got him, man. He's got him. I'm over him, the shaker and the spicer of the South tea. Pacific. I wish that man right out of my ear. There you oh, go. There you go. Company. Um, where did the company lady use her lunch? Smokey Joe's Cafe. Um, uh, I who have nothing. Greece. No, no. Um, yeah. Every song <laughs> starts with that one um note. <laughs> <laughs> Go use my name, you open up the corner, mom. Fiddler on the roof. Fiddler on the roof. Um, um, Fiddler, um. <laughs> <laughs> There's a filler on the <laughs> Wait, that's not a song. <laughs> that's not a song from it. <laughs> what are you doing? If I were a rich man, <laughs> there we not go. Not the death of the fiddler, <laughs> the fiddler, fiddler <laughs> on the roof. <laughs> West Side uh, Story. Um, <laughs> if you're a good boy, well, fine. Chorus line. I go and me on the one you kiss. Guys and dolls. Um, I got a horse right here. His name is Paul Revere. Nice. Damn Yankees. Uh, he's near to you. <laughs> near to you. Annie. Wait, what? It's a hard night life <laughs> okay. for us. It's a hard Miss night. Saigon. And tonight I will be Miss Saigon. <laughs> tonight I'll be your concubine. <sighs> that was Amazing. Absolutely incredible. That's everything. Michael Lair just went through bag. everything. The whole bag. Wow, He's going to sleep like a baby better. tonight. He's going to sleep like a baby tonight. I'm and, telling you, uh, I guarantee you there's one Kill Tony fan that is just such a weird crossover. Uh, he's a he's a Kill Tony fan and a musical theater fan, yeah. and he has been waiting for a segment like yeah, this. He for... fingered his ass the whole time <laughs> yeah. during that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and check out my Patreon for the prostate level. <laughs> wow, look at that. I didn't know that was a thing. Is yeah. that, is that true? How yeah. do you know so much about musical theater? Um, I have two theater degrees. Wow. Before I did any of this shit, I did all that shit. Wow. Yeah, I'm old as fuck. I mean, I do remember the time that you beat Jeremiah in an acting competition. That was incredible. Yeah, I remember we that. all remember that very clearly. I remember that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that was so fun. And what a beautiful coincidence. And yeah. that really went better than I thought. And what a fun way to open the show. You're goddamn right. You're the best. May, may I say one thing? Of course. I'm wearing my own merch. Oh. Guess where I bought it? The Hollywood Goodwill. No way. Yeah, I swear hilarious. to God. You were at a Goodwill and you found your merch? Another comic did and I rushed over there and I bought it. And whoever bought this and whatever I did to you, I am not sorry. <laughs> but... I have a sales record for every fucking thing I saw, so I will find you. <laughs> and wow. thank you for buying a $40 shirt. Yeah, Michael, you went, I'm sorry to interrupt you. When did those go on sale? What do you mean? When did you start selling those hoodies? Oh, um, I thought you meant discounts. Yeah, yeah that's the point. Uh, less than a year ago. What size is that one? My size. It's like a small? So medium. Medium? Yeah. yeah. Um, but someone was a fan of me, and then I alienated them in the last nine months, yep. 
and they threw me in the trash. I like how he just slowly turned into John Malkovich right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that, that's just so wild. I don't un- I don't crazy. understand how that happens. I guess bit. they could have gotten the wrong size, maybe, but it no. seems it almost seems like someone like got it as a gift for someone and like misheard what the person said. Tony, you <laughs> know, like I'm a big I'm... Michael Bearer fan or something like that. Is there a Michael Bearer? <laughs> no. Well, after George Floyd was murdered, I spoke him and I pissed off a lot of people. And a lot of people burned my merch up. Wow. But Somebody just uh, was a big No Doubt fan, and they thought it was from the yeah. band No Doubt. And they're like, what the fuck? That's yeah. not Gwen. Yeah. Also, That's not just a girl. <laughs> the comic founded at Goodwill and made you go over there to buy it. They couldn't just buy it from the yeah. Goodwill and give it to you. Fuck, who's this idiot? Um, well, uh, that's I your first time. I uh, him uh, telling me. Glickman, it's your first time seeing the great Michael Lair uh, experience. First. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, I have seen you on Nickelodeon. I know we've run into each other before. Somewhere. Yeah. It's probably a restaurant. Yeah. It's probably. <laughs> a musical theater. <laughs> Well, Michael, so much fun. What a great way to get the show started. Thank you so much. How about a big hand for the great Michael Lair, everybody? Great job. Great job. All right. Your first comedian performing tonight goes by the name of Kylie Vincent. Here we go. Wow. What a lovely song. Here's Kylie Benson. <laughs> One uh, more time for Kylie Benson. You guys can clap, people that are in the room, if you want. Uh, when my boyfriend and I fight, we usually have makeup sex. And then after makeup sex, we have makeup sex because I choke him too hard. Uh, abortion's a big topic. Stevie Nicks even weighed in on the argument. She's like, hey, without my abortion, you guys wouldn't have had Fleetwood Mac, which I think is a bad argument for other women because it's like, okay, without an abortion, I wouldn't be performing in parking lots. <laughs> I've actually never had an abortion. I just, uh, waiting for the right baby. Um, <laughs> I was reading about Bill Cosby, and it seems a form of his sexual harassment we're having women read him bedtime stories and feed him meals. <laughs> and I was like, God, that's awful. Just rape me instead, you know? <laughs> I don't want to read you Goodnight Moon. You can just fist me. Jesus. All right, thanks. <laughs> there it is, 55 seconds from Kylie Vincent. I'm over here sitting at the desk drowning in little cards with musical theater titles on them. <laughs> Just covered over here. Kylie Vincent, you've been on this show before, correct? I was kicked out last time. Oh, was, you were under 21. Yeah, I oh, was thank you, 20 at the time. Wow. That's right. right. I'm back, baby. That's right. <laughs> now you're 21. When was your yeah, birthday? November 3rd. Congratulations. Perfect timing. Before. And, uh, and remind us uh, what we found out about you last time you were on the show. Um, I have an autoimmune disease. What's the autoimmune disease? It's called sacroiliitis. And what does that mean again? It's just in my back. It's eroding. It's what? <laughs> oh, yeah. Her back, back is, is pretty much deteriorating. Yeah, he oh. remembers. Do you have to wear a back brace? <laughs> no, I don't actually know what's going to happen. But I, I had to be on injections. Like, have you guys ever seen commercials for Humera? Yes. Yeah, sure. yeah I was on that. It's like made out of like rat shit. Really? Yeah. Catch it or rat shit? Man. <laughs> rat shit. Rat shit. Oh. Yeah. Oh, rat shit. <laughs> so close. Like That's bad shit that they would make medicine with rat shit. Yeah. Uh, how long were you on it for? I was on it for a year and a half. You're only supposed to be on it for like two years. And I guess they don't really know much about autoimmune disease. They're like, you could go on remission. I have no idea what's right. happening. Right. You, have you talked about that in your... Yeah, I have a I have a bit about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you What are you doing now? Um, I'm a nanny. Mm-hmm. That's my day job. Man, that is backbreaking work. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, 
<laughs> is the kid how old's the kid that you're nannying she's for? Six. Six. Just one kid? Just six, one. One six and year she's, old? Yeah, she's perfect. Really? It's, yeah, it's a good day. They just took me to Hawaii. Wow. That's yeah. A, that's awesome. I know. I feel like a dick complaining about a day. Have job. you ever been to Catalina Island? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. That is a cat burglar reference. <laughs> Catalina Island. <laughs> I actually yeah. have, though. Have you ever been to the Catskills? I have not. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. Uh, hey, uh, one, one question. Uh, yeah. So uh, you mentioned choking your boyfriend as mm-hmm. part of a joke, right? And so it, yeah. do you really do that? Yeah. Do you, do you really get fisted? No. Jesus, did she even say that? Yeah, right she did. Oh That's God. all I've been did thinking about the whole time. That? I know, I know a girl that gets fisted. It's like really? Her, How do her you whole know? Whole thing. She yeah. just told. She told me one night she That's was drunk. That's her whole thing. It was like her whole thing. It's Were a you thing fucking that she, her at the time? No, you, no. She just her whole thing gets stop. fisted. <laughs> she, she, it's literally her favorite thing. She, Hold on a second. And she pulls it out with different guys. She Hold goes, on oh, a I second. Stop, 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 stop. So where were you when she told you about this? We were sitting at my kitchen table drinking. Just the two of you? Just the two of us. And Just the two of you and your two big fists. <laughs> Just the two With my of two us. big fists. <laughs> so hold, hold on a second. So you're at nighttime, your uh-huh. table. You're not hooking up with this chick. No. You're drinking with her. She was my, my dog sitter. Oh, I bet oh. she was. Yeah. <laughs> Sit yeah. She fist. sat on your dog. She, she was, <laughs> it went up her ass. And then she just starts. But, but the thing. Bar- <laughs> But she said it very nonchalantly, sim- similar to the choking thing, where they just because I've been I've been I you know like I've been w- in a relationship for nine years. I'm single now, right? And then and you're so, talking about the and fist I hear, thing, and I and then I hear Wait. someone go, "Oh yeah, no big deal. I get fisted sometimes." And then and then I heard someone else go, "Oh yeah, I love getting choked when I'm getting fucked." I was like, "That those are both things I never heard That's about ten normal. years ago." You you <laughs> Glickman looks, but like, they're very normal yeah. now. Yeah, I used to I, same same thing. Girl who loved to be fisted, I dated, and she like had to teach me how to do the spiral hand thing. Like you can't just put your fist in; you have to like no, go like this and then get it in. What is it? Oh hands. my god! It's, it's a, a cone shape. Fist, what kind know? of it's monsters shape? have you been with, Brian? <laughs> it's a cone <laughs> shape. Yeah, you have to twist and then jazz twist it. Can't yeah, you just put a boxing right. glove on I, your dick? I think it's always been normal. People just haven't been talking about it. Yeah, sure, out, sure. You know? And sure. there was always like a water line on your arm where you could yeah. see how far you got oh, in. Wow, there. really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Red Band already knew how to fist because it's just like reaching into a vending machine. <laughs> 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 it's the old, uh, <laughs> the old, la- the old last Pringle in the can. <laughs> All right. So learning, uh, learning so much. So you didn't end up hooking up with don't you no. think she was hinting to you to try Fucking something? Fist? It was a pass. You was guys pass are drinking at your kitchen table. The girl's just like, "Man, I love to be fisted," which <laughs> means I love everything else in the world. Uh, yeah, you, apparently. Just waiting for you to make a move. Could you grab me a Sierra fist out of the fridge? I mean Sierra mist. <laughs> a Sierra fist. Put that mark that off on your Kill Tony Bingo. Card. Oh, wow. The Kill Tony Band calendar 2021. Uh, blow the dust oh. off the Sierra fist portion of your bingo card i've been slimed wow wow kylie you're one of those guests that is so good at us all being able to just have fun with each other while you're up here you know yeah. you really br- you really bring it around you spread the energy i know i'm like I-, I wrote that for you guys what's a crazy fun fact about you that we haven't found out yet uh that uh people would find interesting about the life of kylie vincent oh i have a disabled dog she's in a wheelchair your dog is in a wheelchair well they say mm-hmm. dogs are like their owners <laughs> That's you're true. back. You're bad back. You guys are both going to be. I know, I get it. How's her <laughs> made it better to explain the sadness? <laughs> How many times a day do you take your dog on a roll? Um, sometimes I bring her to work with me. Um, how's her, how's you bring her, her to work with you? Yeah, the kid just told me uh, the other day. She's like, I'm so jealous. I think you love her more than you love me. And I was like, this Jesus. wheelchair dog. Yeah. Wow. Wheelchair. How's her musical theater knowledge? We could do a whole show here. Why is your dog in a wheelchair? Um, she's a rescue from Mexico. She was hit by a car when she was a puppy. Wow. What was, she, what was she trying to do? Illegally cross the border? Uh, yeah, I think so. But actually, the right. second day I had her, um, she got hit by another car. What? Yeah. That dog's stupid. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, she, just, she, I trusted her. She is a rapper fault. in the dog world. <laughs> Why do I feel like this dog sounds like Steve-O? <laughs> jump in front of a car. Anyway. Hi, I'm her dog, and I'm going to jump in front of a car. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
whoa, I'm in a wheelchair. It's gnarly. <laughs> That's exactly I didn't even know you could Steve-o. do a Steve-O Oh, yeah. That's I thought awesome. you were setting him up. <laughs> I boy was, was. I'm kidding. Can you, um, have you ever cracked your back? Are you, can you do that? Are you scared to do that? Or? I don't know. I've never gone to a chiropractor. I'm just... Nervous. Try to crack it now. Just try to. No, don't do that don't right do, now. Don't this do that here. Oh, oh no! Stop. <laughs> he did that God no! Play a sound That's what Steve-O does when he gets older. He just do- goes to his like doctor's appointments and says, "Hi, I'm Steve-O, and I gotta get some insulin because I have diabetes." <laughs> 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 so Kylie, uh, do you ever let your you, is your dog ever been in position since then to get hit by a car? Does it ever run out? What what type of options does it have in a wheelchair? Well, does it poop and pee in the chair? No, what? it's it's has from, a colostomy bag. <laughs> it's from a company <laughs> that designs it for. It's like the only one in the United States. Um, but everything else works. Like she can go to the bathroom well, fine. Your dog is definitely not autoimmune. Because it's been hit by cars. I loved it. Oh, I loved it. I loved no it. No getting immune to the autos, indeed. My goodness. What's the dog's name? Her name Bam! Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Her name's Bonnie. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Right. How Frogger. Old, what kind of dog it? <laughs> Frogger. Frogger. What kind of a... Uh, so good. What kind of dog is Bonnie? <laughs> Dogger. Oh my god, there's so many noises right now. Um, she's of? a Jack Russell Terrier mix. They don't know. So that was an episode of Jack mixed Russell. with asphalt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's eighty percent front end. <laughs> this is so great. This is the first time in over seven years that we've had a person talk about their dog in a wheelchair. These yeah. are fresh jokes. Oh, I mean, yeah, the, people just think that. <laughs> On the streets, that I'm probably the only person with a disabled dog. They say really weird things like, you know, I just won't <laughs> Michael be... Laird just said, hold my beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just, like, won't be making eye contact with them, and they'll just be like, oh, what happened? I'm so sorry. And um, I just have to, like, go into the whole story... Um, do you but, ever say he was a bad boy? <laughs> yeah, I'm like I beat her. <laughs> he has Downs on his luck syndrome. <laughs> oh, oh shit! My God. She's part greyhound. <laughs> I mean, she was hit by a greyhound. <laughs> oh, wait! That was incredible. Heard a dog there. Wow. So, uh, how does it go to the bathroom? It's uh, everything's normal. Was uh, it sitting in the chair? Is it like no? It's like <laughs> dog <laughs> the way it's worked. The way I picture this dog in it's a wheelchair like, no, is no, no, very no. depressing. It's not Don't like you like imagine it sitting wheelchair. on its butt and it wheeling, wheeling itself, itself around? R r r r r. No, it's not like a person wheelchair. It's like a like. It's like a scooter. It's like helps yeah, like them just yeah. kind of glide around. Oh. Like a, and does it sleep in the wheelchair as well? No, she kind of like squirms around. I like bet she, can she get does. Yeah, yeah. This poor thing wishes it was put down years no, ago. No, dude, she's so happy. <laughs> really? You yeah. never see her with, with suicidal tendencies? Like she's never done anything like say run in front of a car? I mean, twice. <laughs> twice. This dog wanted to kill itself before it was confined to a wheelchair. <laughs> poor suicidal dog. Oh it's its God. favorite chew toy is a gun in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kylie. So much fun. Thank you Thank so much. You. There goes Kylie Vincent, everyone. Oh. On to the next one. That was so good. Oh, my God. Dog in a wheelchair. Can we get more people with dogs in wheelchairs? All right, ladies and gentlemen, your next comedian goes oh, by shit. the name of Kate Kennedy, everyone. Here comes Kate hey! Kennedy. I do believe this is her debut here on Kill Tony. Kate Kennedy. Oh, this is embarrassing. My dog also is disabled and is too stupid to learn how to use the wheelchair. I don't know if you've ever tried to teach a dog how to use a wheelchair, but there's a learning curve. Um, I I used to do hardcore pornography. It wasn't degrading enough for me, so I got into stand-up instead. Uh, I have lied to every single therapist I've ever had to make them like me more, which some people have pointed out is maybe not the best way to achieve your goals in therapy, but not if your goal is to win I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just tired of pretending like it would have been absolutely fine on Jeffrey Epstein's island. I've done so much worse for so much less, and I didn't even get to go to the beach. I had to go to Canton, Ohio. 
And I know that people get really bent about human trafficking, but let me just say, it's not that bad. I get that it's a crime, but nobody ships kids in wardrobe boxes. They do make you fly economy on Spirit Airlines, so it kind of sucks still, but it's not that bad. Do you guys think Salman Rushdie was mad that he had to write the entire satanic verses in order to get a fatwa declared against him when all Mia Khalifa had to do was suck dick in a hijab? <laughs> I would be mad about that. Kate Kennedy, everybody. Welcome to the show, Kate. Kate hey. Kennedy! There you go. Kate, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? This is your first time on the show, right? It is my first time on the show. It'll be two years in April, I think. Yeah. There you go. Two years. Yeah. All of it here in L.A. All of it here in L.A. This is the first place I ever did stand-up right here. And a former hardcore porn star. Former. I know. I just got nominated for my last award for the year. What was it? Uh, best Gangbang. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. <laughs> uh, how many people were in the gangbang? Uh, only three, which I didn't think qualifies as a full gangbang. Three other, I'd always been told there were three five. guys in you. Yeah. That's like a Wednesday. They were cholos, though. Uh, they were Catholic priests, and I was a school Did you girl. say Catholic priests? Catholic priests, yes. I said the Our Father in Latin while they came on my face. Really? Dude, Holy who else could do that? Shit. I deserved the award. Wow. Yeah, and it sounds like you're about to get a Tony Award. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow. Mm -hmm. Is that true or are you just being funny? No, that's absolutely true. They were priests up. and you were a Catholic school girl yeah, and yeah. that got nominated for an award? Yeah, nominated. Patria, Filio, Spiritu Santo. Holy Fuck yeah. shit. Yeah. That's actually the plot of Cats. <laughs> 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 wow, what's happening? What was that look at Jeremiah? Oh, I just looking at Jeremiah get hard. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, you Jeremiah, are disgusting. <laughs> Jeremiah loves Catholicism. Yeah. Wow. So you're what are some Catholic. Catholicism, yes. I mean, if that's the scene that you're getting nominated for an award right. for, what I have to ask, what is like your most like silly or embarrassing or weird or fun thing that you parody? Did you do a good parody? I porn? do. I got nominated for best parody last year. What was that one? Uh, it was at Archie Comics. It was Betty and Veronica. It was Veronica. Or no, I was Betty. Now also, you're about to yeah. earn a Red Band Award. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also, what does your acceptance speech sound like? <laughs> oh. I'm so, I don't have to go this year because it's It's canceled. the only award ceremony where they don't thank their mom and their dad. <laughs> I want to thank my mom and, and dad. And God is not mentioned anywhere. <laughs> right. right. Uh, what, are the, what are those award ceremonies like? Uh, it's literally the world's biggest circle jerk. Like, quite literally. I don't know. Have you ever watched a girl cry in the hallway because she didn't win best anal scene? <laughs> yeah. wow. Like, it's a trophy okay. for getting fucked in the ass. Wow. And she's just outside crying. I just always stand outside in the hallway during the awards because I don't like to sit. And so I just stand there and wait for them to come out and cry. That's incredible. Uh, when when the it. porn stars that. cry, do they, like, rub their eyes really hard and it just squirts out <laughs> everywhere at once? <laughs> Yeah. It's Pedialyte. It smells like strawberries. That is true. This is what I've heard is mm -hmm. that porn stars drink Pedialyte uh, for squirting. Have, have you ever done that? I have, yeah. Oh, my goodness. What haven't you done? Um, It's a really good question. I got waterboarded one time. That was fun. Wow. Yeah. What? That's incredible. It's great. You got waterboarded and Glickman got what a burger. <laughs> <laughs> ah! On goodness. the way here. Uh, what was... <laughs> What? I'm so sorry. Uh, I apologize to everyone in the stand-up community. Uh, do you... <laughs> what did you just say? What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? I, I go said, ahead. Go I said ahead. on the way here. Right. I on the way here. But then what did you say after and that? I just apologized to everybody no, for it was the worst great. joke. No, it was um, unbelievable. Yeah, well, we don't even have Whataburger here. That's not believable at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your lunch is here. <laughs> Wait oh. a second. How is this humanly possible? All right. We got a, our new sponsor, Whataburger. Let's, thank you so much. Um, what? All uh, right. <laughs> 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 what was your question? question? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> do you talk about uh, the porn uh, work in your act? Do you yes, talk about I, it? Yeah, I do. I try to address it but not lean on it because I don't want it to be a shtick, but I do like to introduce it. That's like what I'm mostly known for. So I like right. to address it, get it out of the way. And, and what did you on. say about Canton, Ohio? Uh, yeah, I used to have a sugar daddy lived in Canton, Ohio. Yeah, go through that. Yeah. That's awesome. Canton, by the I way, know. if you don't he, know what Canton is. He broke up with me this year. He got a dog, and he doesn't need my companionship anymore. A poor dog. Oh, it's very, I know. I, but like, I just feel my like goodness. Buddy You is, know that dog does anal for yeah, sure. <laughs> it's, a, it's a shit zoo. If you replace this with a dog. That dog's going to be in a wheelchair. <laughs> I just feel like he's way less fun to do cocaine with. Like That's my opinion, but... 
What, what did you have to do as part of being uh, having dude, a sugar daddy? Literally nothing. It was the best job ever. Other than I, what? Like dude, you must have had to do something. No. You had to talk with them? I f- yeah. He just liked to hang out with me and drink scotch and do a bunch of coke and go to a strip club. And then he would give me money to get my own strippers. It was great. Wow. It was the best. I would just go hang out in Ohio for a weekend and I would fly. That's also how I flew home with $20,000 in cash wearing a pink fluffy Juicy Couture sweatsuit that's to the awesome. Cleveland Jesus airport. Christ. Yeah, dude, that's white privilege right there. Are you, what is the wow. most you are allowed to fly with? <laughs> like 10, 5, 10. Yeah, yeah like no, you're point. not. So it was like tucked like in books. I was so nervous. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. How much have you flown with cat burglar? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're a professional yeah. jewel thief. <laughs> oh, wow. Where's my camera? <laughs> Millions. How many water bottles is that? Never, never mind. Inside joke. Okay. We had uh, actually had Kate on uh, um, Brian Holtzman's yeah, show. Uh, it was an awesome episode. She's also been on Your Mom's House with Tom Segura and Christina Pajitsky. She's very funny. Uh, you have your own uh, podcast that you do. And her do. topic of her podcast is brilliant. You know, so many people come up to me and go, I've never seen uh, Red like Band I, speak so highly of someone. Before. No, she's very funny. But her topic, like so many people tell me, like, I got this new idea for a podcast. And I'm always like, OK, yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's going to work. You know, but her. You yeah, I remember you said this to me after because like, I told you what it was and you said said that to me on dead air and then i went home and called my mom and was like brian red band thinks my podcast idea is good like, what is it again? what is it uh it's called the kennedy assassination and i interview men uh from the internet that don't like me about what they don't like about me yeah. like the people that leave mean comments on Pornhub. yeah what a wow. fucking great idea yeah it's yep. like talking to your trolls like yeah. trying to get to the bottom of it type shit it's really fun you learn a lot about people it's been on a little bit of a hiatus it turns out i'm not quite as controversial as i hoped i was do you not like the elasticity of my anus hole what is it <laughs> it's literally and is I it my personality this, is it my just eyes won an award for fisting this year yeah let me ask you this kate kennedy uh you you've been in the porn you were in the porn business for a while we've heard of a lot of the wild stuff that you've done what do you think is the most wholesome thing about you what what's the best quality oh, like or best quality thing about you oh geez that's not something i'm used to talking about i know i know <laughs> like my go-to dating move is to just instantly tell people every terrible thing i've ever done um i also have a, a disabled dog she only has three legs. She was born that way. She wasn't hit by a car. She was just $20 cheaper than the dogs with all of them. That's wow. True. She was $20 wow. cheaper. People never ask that. She was um, only born with three legs? Yeah, she's very inbred. Oh, my God. Yeah. What kind of dog? She's a German short-haired pointer, so she's pretty much the poster child. She's inbred? Aryan breeding. Wow, Glickman's inbred every morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is first God thing. Damn it. Right into the pantry. <laughs> but I knew that dog, that dog weighs 50 pounds. <laughs> She's porn bread, he's cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> that dog weighs 50 pounds and I carry it up and down three flights of stairs. That's like what Glickman says when he meets a girl. He <laughs> goes, I really want to get into her pantries. <laughs> oh, wow. I haven't gotten to do, I haven't had a good fat guy to make fun of in forever, Glickman. Well, I'm so you, happy to Anytime you want to do always, that. They always want to start crying Thanks, and be Tony. a baby about <sighs> it. Yeah, Red Man oh. is just on cloud nine right now. <laughs> I don't think you heard the rest of that. I always go, the other ones are all big babies. This fucking one. All right, Kate. Well, all right. uh... How much longer does your three-legged dog have to live, do you think? Uh, she's almost five. She's really healthy. Um, she just had surgery in April, but she's doing good. So, you know, she seems like she's doing good. Again, she can't use a wheelchair. Are you, you doing a dating, Tinder, Bumble, uh, any of those? Uh, wow. Sounds like I have on my phone. Trying to get. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of <laughs> snatch.com. I got kicked off Tinder a couple years ago, um, and they block your IP when you get kicked oh, off really? of Tinder. Oh. Yeah, you can't rejoin. They just send you a really mean email. That's why you need a good VPN, like ExpressVPN. That's right. And you can get it right now by going to expressvpn.com and using the promo code KILLTONY. Yeah. You could be in uh, uh, Japan. All right. There goes Kate Kennedy, everybody. Thanks. Great job. Good seeing you, Kate. On to the next one we go. Heck yeah. Speak. Speaking of wrecking balls, how about one more time for Kate Kennedy, everybody? Rick. All right. Your next comedian goes by the name. I know this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Andy Lowe. Here we go with Andy Lowe. There he is. What's up, 
guys. How are you doing? Here he is, Andy Lowe. How's it going? Uh, right off the bat, let me just get this out of the way because I know it's the first thing you guys are going to talk about. I know I look like Weird Al, um, but sort of like if Weird Al was campaigning to be like the mayor of a tent city, you know? So I know. Don't bring it up. Uh, you know, I was, I was making a vision board recently. I heard one of the things to do during the quarantine to boost your spirits is make a vision board. So I, so I went online and I looked up, you know, my wildest dreams, the craziest things I could think of, and I saved all the images and I, I hung a bulletin board on the wall. And then uh, I went to print out the pictures and my, my printer was out of ink. And so, so I just have a, a, a blank bulletin board on the wall and I'm, you know, I'm just gonna die lonely and unsuccessful now, obviously. Uh, my name is Andy Lowe. We mentioned this. Uh, I really don't like my last name, Lowe. I think it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of boring. Uh, I, I miss the times when our last name was was like what you did for a living. You know, it, was, it meant something. Uh, Baker, Carpenter, you know, Dickinson, you know. It was a better time. All right, thanks, guys. Andy Lowe, everybody. Put your hands together for Andy. Uh, I know Andy. I like your comedy, Andy, because very rarely do I get a chance to hear myself breathing. <laughs> and when you're performing, I always notice, like, I can literally hear myself. I can hear you breathing right now. Uh, so what's it like being an older woman starting stand-up comedy? <laughs> well, it's fun. You know, it's different. i I got a big path ahead of me. I've obviously got a lot of chances. All right, Andy. So let's talk about it. Is this your first time on the show? Yeah, yeah. There you are. Charismatic guy. Super likable. How old are you? 28. 28 years old. Where are you from? I'm from Atlanta. Okay. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. A lot yes. of people in Atlanta have bangs. No, no. Oh. I'm about the only one. Wow. All right. How That's long have you been uh, how long have you been in LA? Uh about three years. Been doing comedy about a year. Right. Right. You what have you been doing yeah. here for three years? Uh this, this and that. I got I got a degree in graphic design. I do graphic design work. That's know. how you make a living? Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. You have a look to you. What part of town do you live in? Long Beach. Oh, Long Beach. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long was your drive here today? Uh, like, like 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah no okay. traffic on the 55 no or anything like that. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So you do graphic design. Tell us more about you. What would we find interesting about you? Okay. Um, yeah, you know, uh, basically you, what you see is what you get. You know, it's... it's, it's have, like, you, have you ever sent you a photo to Weird Al? <laughs> No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> what you see is what you get? What do you mean by that? I mean, what do we get? My whole personality is the hair. So, you listen, you know. I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to dig deeper than that. I know you just fresh out of a head and shoulders commercial, but right. <laughs> I'm trying to see what else, what else do you do? What are like hobbies or fun things um, that you do? I run an open mic, and Michael Lair's done it. William's done it. You know. Okay. I run an open mic. Yeah. All right. The one in the park? Yeah, we do different cool. parks. So, like, what did you do today? You woke up what time? It's interesting, actually, because I didn't think I was going to be on tonight. Uh, I was told last night I was too white to okay. be on. Okay, I don't um, know what you're talking about. None, of, the, none of this matters. So, let, let, let's stick with the question. You okay. woke up woke this up, morning at uh, what time? Probably 2 maybe. p.m.? Yeah, maybe. Wow, maybe okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> Red band claps for that. That's good. Nice and early. <laughs> okay, so do you usually <laughs> wake up at 2 p.m.? Yeah. What time yeah. did you go to bed last night? I don't know, 3 or 4. What were you doing to keep you up that late? I was here last night, and you know, just keep going home, drinking, keep drinking. You drink at home. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. do you drink at home? Uh, that's a good question. Gin, you know, Hennessy. Gin? Whatever you got. Yeah. No, whatever, whatever you I've got, got. It's yeah. your home. It's, yeah. What the fuck are whatever you talking about? What do you think? I'm buying you a drink right now? <laughs> Jesus, Andy. Okay. Have so, you ever gotten that your hair is spiraled like an American Girl doll? I have, yeah. What time did you, were you drinking until last night? Three or four? No, you know. Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, no, this is my go-to. I'll say, um, You know, um, you were buying, um, Tony. Um, You've been there. Probably two, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, whatever you got. I mean, you were there. You were in bed with me. Remember? You were holding my Hennessy. <laughs> so, okay. What, do you, what were you doing when you were drinking? Were you drinking with someone? Yeah, my girlfriend, Anna. You know Oh, Anna. okay. Yeah. Yep, the girlfriend. All right. What does she do? You met her. <laughs> she actually just got laid off uh, yesterday. Yeah, she she what? In bed with got us. laid off. Got laid off yesterday. Oh, that's so sad. That's happening right now. Yeah. All the friends that were surviving the pandemic are all losing their jobs. All the are... waiters and the restaurants. It's very, sad. very sad. Bands. Sucks. <laughs> Bands. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god! Wow! Uh, wow! Did you start doing stand up after the wizard gave you courage? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> wow! Katzberg. <laughs> My goodness. So, uh, where'd you meet the girl? Um, you were there, Tony. <laughs> Last night. <laughs> no, uh, in college, Savannah, Georgia. Okay, college in Savannah, Georgia. Mm-hmm. All right. And wh- where were you when you first saw her? Um, Remember that moment? I think somebody showed me her nudes. Somebody else would bang me. I was like, interesting. What? Yeah. Wow. Do you have those nudes on you? <laughs> no, no, not, the, not those exact ones. Yeah, he's going to airdrop. Do you have right other now. ones on you? Uh, yeah, so All we'll right. talk after. We're Jesus, you guys are creepy. <laughs> Do you have any news of yourself? Tony <laughs> needs them. <laughs> no, fuck yeah. nudes of me. No. So some guy shows you nudes of her, and you're like, wow, she's hot. And he was banging her. Mm-hmm. Was it your friend? Yeah. Right. Were they, were they just hooking up regularly? Was it a one-night stand? What was this thing with her? Yeah, I was, I was a one-night stand, I'm pretty sure. That's what they told you, huh? That's what I was told, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was For, promised, actually. Ooh, promised. I'm just kidding. For someone no. that runs a mic, you sure hold the mic really far away from sorry, your mouth. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you got to keep it right, right, right next, next to you. it. Yeah. So, uh, wow, how long have you been together now? You met in college. Mm, now you're a 53-year-old years. woman yeah. trying to figure it out. <laughs> Marriage is legal now for you two? Yeah, Working nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. My goodness, Andy. What else, buddy? What are your parents like? One owns a bank. Ooh, you know. Well, my dad's dead, but my mom is really disappointed about this Trump loss, as I'm sure. Is that true? She's a yeah. Trump supporter? Big, yeah. Big. My goodness. Wow. Right she still her. lives in what, Georgia? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Actually, she just moved to Hilton Head last year. So. Ooh, oh, Hilton Beautiful Head. Hilton oh, Head, South Hilton. Carolina. Good beautiful Hilton Good Head. My goodness. Wow. Mm-hmm. She's living the life. What'd she do? She found a new man. No, her, her man retired. So. Her man retired. Yeah. Oh, they both moved to Hilton Head is mm-hmm. what you're saying. Mm-hmm. My yeah, goodness. Yeah. I wonder what Trump would say if he could uh, speak to your mother about these elections. The American dream <laughs> is dead. <laughs> That's right. He's very angry. He's very angry. I don't know if he... We have losers. We have losers. We have people that don't have it. We have people that are morally corrupt. We have people that are selling this country down the drain. Nobody can do that like me. (laughs) That was very good. Wow, that was incredible, Red Band. Uh, so Andy, come on, hit us with one more super fun fact okay. about you. There has to be um, something because you look. There's no way you look know, this interesting and possibly can be this fucking boy. I can't brag. I don't know. Uh, you look like brag, him. brag, motherfucker. He can uh, hold the mic farther away from his mouth <laughs> yeah. than anybody and not remember to do it ever. So you look like a ghost from the hit series. Are you afraid of the dark? <laughs> You look like if the Kathy comic fucked Garfield. (laughs) That is true. It is a very cartoony look. Yeah. It is interesting. Have you ever had short hair? Have you ever tried to mix it up? Yeah, no. I I had a... Okay, here's the interesting thing. You look like Girl Skakel. I had a... uh, (laughs) Girl Skakel. I had a uh, traumatic brain injury a couple years ago. You did? Yeah. Oh, this explains it. You used used to probably have so many fun hobbies. and so much uh, more interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I I woke up from a coma, strapped to a hospital bed, and 50 staples in my head. How did you uh, get put in a coma? Medically induced. Wow. They just did it for me, yeah. What did they do? They played your comedy set for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Out for days. <laughs> wow. Damn. Incredible. Gotcha. All right. Well, Andy, uh, fun times, man. Hey, have enjoy your time in Texas. I'm going to miss you guys, right? Texas, right? There you go. Thank Love you, you so much. Andy Lowe, everybody. There he goes. Andy Lowe. All right. Uh, we're just going to squeeze in someone very special to us right now. He is a regular on the show, ladies and gentlemen, with David Lucas out of commission here on this lovely day, probably back next week or something like that. I present to you the great, the big red machine, William Montgomery. Here we go. Shut the song off. I'm dizzy as a motherfucker. I'm on Xanax. You told me to say that, you piece of shit. 
I'm kidding. It's a joke. Why'd you tell me to say that? It's not working. Uh, if I had my own touchdown dance, I'd act like I heard a ticking noise inside of the ball and then start freaking out and telling everyone there's a bomb inside of the ball and then run up into the stands and into the press box and say over the PA that there's a bomb inside of the football and the referees refuse to stop the game and then I tell my family I love them and then I died playing the game that I loved. <laughs> wow. Uh, no, I have Red Band. This is the final Kill Tony. What are you talking about? Let me do the rest of my fucking jokes. Okay, but I don't know what you mean it's the last Kill Tony. I'm not here to talk about the military, but when is the last time a sniper saved my life? Uh, if I could bring one of the Beastie Boys back from the dead, I wouldn't. <laughs> Sorry, Mel Gibson is an action hero. Not an Oscar nominee fag boy. <laughs> I loved him in Braveheart. Y'all, this is probably the the best part of my set coming up. Uh, <laughs> as y'all know, Dolly Parton cured COVID. Uh, now, if only she could... Let me do a... I paused way too... Way too much. Let me do it one more time. Ready? And action. Jeremiah used to say that. And Jeremiah, for the record, that's not yo kid. I'm kidding. I thought that was going to get a bunch of laughter. Here, let me tell my last joke. Did the cat just fart into the microphone? (laughs) Wow. Seems like all the characters are doing this now. As y'all know, Dolly Parton cured COVID. Now, if only she could come up with a vaccine for my achy, breaky heart. Wow. Here's the best one. Okay. Uh, Imagine Dolly Parton in a lab coat. I haven't seen cotton stretch that thin since the South had to start paying for labor. Oh, my. Jesus. Wow. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Three-minute set. Little special treat. Three minutes. People throw throw around. Do you hear me, t- Jeremiah? Stop. He did. This is a serious deal. People throw around numbers in my world all the time. I don't understand them. Like what? Fifty-one fifty. Fifty-one fifty. What What are you talking about? I'm talking about playing the game Jaws with my cousin Taylor, and he's like, William, you rolled a five. And I just look at Taylor saying, what do you mean? How many spaces do I move my fish? Is this still happening? Tony, I I talked to William before the show, and he is just really choked up about you going to Austin. He's like, I'm going to have to go back to Memphis. Is that true? Tony, what makes me so sad... And I I wish to the God that I praise, Jesus, that your fucking ass wasn't on that stage. This is maybe the last time I will be on Kill Tony. And I swear to God, this has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. And now I'm up here talking about numbers and all this shit. It's not working. What do you think? Moving to Austin's not an option for you? I'm thinking about it. Tony, can I move move in with you? <laughs> <laughs> I could I can stay in your bathroom. I TT a bunch. I can just what stay is in TT? your TT. What's TT? It's when stuff comes out of my penis. <laughs> Sounds like a great offer, Tony. What do I get out of this? You get out of it walking into the bathroom with your speedo goggles. Looking at me, looking down at my penis, looking at the the urine coming out of my thing. Just yeah. doing your goggles up, doing the fog off, just being like, William, 
Is that your dick? What do, wait, what do I say? Hey, William, is that your dick? Well, why, would I t- <laughs> why would I talk like that? Because you see my penis, it is similar, I don't know if y'all are familiar with Tootsie Roll Pops. My penis yeah. looks like a blue Tootsie Roll Pop. Blue? Jesus my Christ. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gotten this checked out? <laughs> Uh, the doctor, when I was born, they thought I had spina bifida, but it was actually a problem with my... Your tail. No, the thing that wraps around your neck when you're born that allows your mama to feed you. What's and, that thing called? Encyclopedia cord. Encyclopedia Fuck you, Red Band. I'm going to be fucking happy when you're down in Austin. Oh, oh my God. God. Scuba diving in the underwater springs, just looking at me saying, William, my oxygen is running out. And I'm looking at your fucking ass saying, yeah, Red Man, you fucked up. Your ass is dying down here. <laughs> William would watch you die rather than save you. Can you believe that, Red Man? I would look you in your face and look down at my feet. And adjust my aqua socks, Here. you bitch. Here, do me a favor. Do me a favor, William. Look right at that camera like it's Red Band drowning and tell the camera what you would say to him. Hey, Red Band, you <laughs> fucked up. Your oxygen is running low. You're going to fucking die down here, you motherfucker. I bet you regret moving to Austin and getting into scuba diving, you piece of shit. You're dying down in the soul, and I'm going to get out. I'm going to get with Janice. We've been screwing around behind your back. Janice and I are going to get married. And Red Man, you're going to die down in this what fucking hole. What the fuck hole. is going on? You're going to die down in this fucking hole. Janice, get out of my fucking face. <laughs> Red man, get her out of my face. He's drowning. He's drowning. He can't. Wow, William Montgomery. What a performance. Put your fucking phone down. Yeah, I loved oh, you wow. in Hold Shrek. On. I loved you in Shrek. I loved when you played the Herbie the Love Bug character. Just watching your front of your car. What are those things called? Oh, Windshield wipers. <laughs> Flashing your lights, just saying, hey, how's it going? William is in full smash mode right now. Someone <laughs> fucking I'm shot moving to you Austin too. fucking HGH before this. You're Time a wild go. animal tonight. I am just so sick and tired of people <laughs> talking about spam. Spam, what are you talking about? The food or the thing that gets in my email? <laughs> oh shit Whoa. a Whoa. spam joke out of nowhere <laughs> the first joke you think of when you think of spam Tony I'm gonna miss this are you gonna cry right now think you can can you do that let me tr- let me try okay here it is ladies and gentlemen for the first time ever Zach you can- Zach zoom in you bitch <laughs> Zach zooming in let's see if William can cry oh there's some sad military music that usually does it to a Civil War reenactor type like William Montgomery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just found out the Confederacy lost. Oh, my goodness. William, just, William, if you need help, just think about your life. Tony, I appreciate <laughs> the, I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, William, get, to get sad, think about your life. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> All right, William. Um, so what are we talking about here? You got to get going, right? You have a curfew tonight. <laughs> I have a curfew. Uh, thank you so much, Red Band. I'm going to miss you playing these stupid fucking songs <laughs> when I'm trying to be serious. You just typing on your fucking calculator, whatever people call yeah, those I use things. a calculator, William. Yeah, you use a calculator. Your girlfriend gave it to me. Well... Oh, talk about Texas Instruments, yeah, am I right? Yeah, you gave me a TI-81, bitch. Whoa, he just called you Don't a bitch, Don't fuck William. with me. Like, I swear to God, Ow. when we are underneath the water system. No. 
in Texas and you are running out of oxygen, I'm going to wink at you and be like, yeah, Janice and I text one another every fucking you night. You think it's Janice. The whole time it was me. <laughs> wow. Well, I appreciate you. We talk about our penises. We talk about looking at our penises <laughs> with binoculars. I appreciate that. Just right. me standing just... Up on the mountainside, just looking at Red Band's penis via binocular, and you look at my penis via binocular. What if I put the binoculars down on the table? That's really funny. <laughs> Why'd you fuck that up? We're doing one of the best things ever. And you say bullshit like that. William, uh, I want to let you know that uh, indeed... You know there is a there is a chance that we will be moving to Austin depending on what Could I go down there? Could I still be the regular? Cuz I am fucking churning out jokes like no one else could. You churn them better than anyone. That's I am true. churning out fucking jokes like no one else. I'd like to see your dumbass try it. You, you couldn't talking, do it. Are you talking to Stephen Glickman? Yeah, I'm talking to Stephen Glickman. William, this is a guest of ours. You have to be nice to the guest. I don't know how to fucking read, Tony. Wow. But I keep on writing these jo- Could I move to Austin and keep this up? You know what, William? I'll make you a deal. If, if you can get to Austin and you can find a place to live and find a way to support yourself, you find a good... Look at this. You can go down there. Right, you can come visit. Look right? at this. L- listen, to me. I say that a bunch. Listen to me. You can go to Austin and visit, and you know what you could do? You could scout out some really nice storage facilities for you to work at, and you could just make a smooth transition from working or at a storage living. facility here to there. And you know what? In Texas, you can also find a lot of girlfriends that will be willing to beat you up. What scares me is I feel like I will move down there and fill a rider van with explosives. No, and... don't say that. The, a I'm a that... Timothy McVeigh guy. No, you know that. He's just kidding, everybody. A lot of the members of the Secret Service listen to this show. Did yeah. you know that? If they ever come at me, they know it's a joke. William. I may, I may double down on this uh, on Tony's can offer. Can you talk a little Uh-oh. slower? I may, Wait, Red Band. I, may I know, double I, down. I can, I can always tell. I've done this show a long time. I always know when Red Band's about. What's to make your a big offer? offer? Okay, if you come down and continue to be a regular on the Kill Tony show. I'll let you be on Brothers and Curse of Austin edition. Wow. He's going to let you do your own <laughs> podcast in Austin. Mm-hmm. Look at this. It's, it's actually, he's offer. thinking. And, this is what it looks like when he's thinking. And if, and if, Shut the fucking light off. Why'd it get brighter? And if David Lucas doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> that works every time. And if David Lucas doesn't want to come to Austin, you can choose who you want to be your brother in cursive. I sort of don't want to get into this, but you know, I, I don't know. trust blacks. I know. You've been oh, telling me this shit. for a while that you think it's a bad idea that David's your brother in cursive. Oh, shit. And you've been wanting a, a, a white guy. It's turned into a literal nightmare where I'm doo-dooing into the shammer drain and I'm looking Okay, up and- all right, William. That's enough. So much TT and doo-doo and da-da. All right, William. Unbelievable performance. I want to let you know that you know uh, that the invite is open for you, William. But I've had, I've literally had people say I have a job for William that's so easy he'll be able to work from home. It's a, the, this other job as a car, and I go, William, this person wants to give you a fucking job. You have to do nothing, and and there's always some weird reason why They're you Hispanic. can't do it, or why They're you Hispanic. won't visit a doctor, or why you won't get out of this situation or that situation. So I truly believe that this might actually like. I feel like you're not going to make it to Austin. I feel like Michael Lair is not going to miss a beat. Yeah, and you Meanwhile, know how many you know how many of uh, people that listen to this show that have jobs for you in Austin if you move to Austin. Yeah. I guarantee it, it. People listen to this show. This is the, I believe this is the week before, the uh, Christmas is right around the corner mm-hmm. here. And if you can offer William a job, offer him a job. The economy's booming Please, out there. Y'all, it's a I fucking need real it. red state. <laughs> I need a Stephen Glickman. Let me work for you. Uh, all right. Sounds great. Wow, look at that. <laughs> All right, William, we absolutely adore you. You'll always be a regular in our hearts. It's been so much fun. <laughs> I have loved every fucking minute of it. 
Shut up. What did you say? Uh, security, can we get this guy out of here? <laughs> I have loved every fucking minute of all of this. I can't, I can't tell y'all enough that I appreciate oh my God. your candor. Shut up, Glickman. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, my God. Shut up, dude. Make me. Make you? Glickman? William, Don't fuck go on. with me. Be nice to our guests. Go oh, ahead. Keep come talking. Come on, William. Glickman. I believe in you, William. Two years ago, I met your mom. You were cool with it. We started kissing in a bathroom okay, of Will, the o- William. Come on, keep it, keep it going. You were, you're on your closing. It's Glickman it's, it, and it, not it, it, his mom did, looks a lot happen. like him. Just a yeah. bald headed lady from Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> and we made out on the stairwell of the fucking Oak Court Mall, and I'm looking at her saying, you know, I trust Glickman. I like him. And she looked at me, and she's like, William, shut your mouth. I love you so much. Wow. Oh, my God. William, you are such a fucking incredible talent. You absolutely destroyed me tonight for 16 minutes, nonetheless. Absolutely, shockingly incredible performance. Three Don't minutes of stand-up down. comedy. I'm fucking around. And one of, uh, probably my favorite interview of all time. Closing strong here at the Comedy Store here on this beautiful, beautiful Monday night. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for William Thank Montgomery, you. everybody. <laughs> See you on the flip side, buddy. In the street, it's a happy holiday. Yeah. Your next comedian goes by the name of Mike Silver. Here we go. It's a happy holiday. Yeah. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Silver. What's up? I bet racists hate coloring books. Think about it. But you know it's their baby boy, so maybe for their birthday one year they get him a brand new, brand new coloring book. He's so excited about it. Ah oh, shit, he's so excited about it. But the kid, you know, right away he gets into it. He starts coloring it. He's finished in like ten seconds. The dad comes back in the room. He's like, "What have you done? It was perfect. It was white. Something like that." I like to get really high and go to Whole Foods, give out samples of products they don't sell there. Recently, I was doing this. This lady, she comes up to me. She's like, oh, my God, I can't believe it's organic. I was like, it's not. It's from Walmart. It's a fantastic moment for me. I've actually been to the suicide ward three times. First time I wanted to die. Other two times, could not decide if I liked the place or not. Wanted to have an accurate opinion. Uh, how many seconds I got left? About. Yeah. Cool. Mike Silver. There it is. Mike Silver. Mike, I remember you. You've been on the show a couple times. You uh, you throw fish for a living or something like that, right? Uh, yeah, I actually got fired like twice from it. <laughs> wow. It's weird because it's a family company too, so it's very awkward. <laughs> very fishy situation. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hell yeah. So what are you doing now? Uh, basically, yeah, unemployment life. Yeah, what's that look like for you? Uh, I got a, I bought a dog with my stimulus check and a little bit of a, the first check from unemployment. That's so great. Is that what you named awesome. him? Did you name the dog Stimulus? No, I named him Happy. You know, he's pretty awesome. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You smoke a lot of pot, huh? I smoke quite a bit, yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 You have a bong, a water bong. Yep, in my car. Yeah. In your car. In your car. Uh, 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 worst yeah, come on, dude. Like I, know, I know the type of person that's <laughs> yeah, got a bong no, on him. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah, it's just like whenever you leave, or when I leave anywhere, it's just like smoke a bowl. Right before I came in here, smoked a bowl. You know of what I mean? Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Constantly high. I get it. Uh, what uh, What are some things that you like to do? Like uh, hobbies and stuff. Yeah, I was just talking to Andy about that. I, was like, I have no fucking hobby. Really? So I, like, I you mean, ever I, golf? I did, uh, you golf? Like, strangely enough. I was actually in varsity some... golf in uh, Westchester High. Look at this shit. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. another weird thing where I can Varsity, guess. I can guess comics. people that know how to golf comics. that look like they would never golf. No, but that's I mean, the I thing. Get the, I get that vibe from you. No, they solely put me on that team, like because I was white. It was kind of unreasonable. Wait, why? You were? They needed a token white guy for their golf team. Yep. Where the hell did you go to school? Westchester High. Hell? No, Westchester High was a predominantly black school. <laughs> so like, they had a golf team, and I was like, "Hey, I play golf." They're like, "Where'd you play golf at?" And I was like, "Wilshire Country Club." They're like, "All right, for sure, varsity golf." They made me captain. Never went to a golf course. Wow. It was amazing. Did you have it. fun? I mean, like, I got a free six period, so. 
Worked oh, out. Hell yeah. Nice. Free six period. Look at that. Really what, what were you into when you were growing up? Like, you had a free six ah. period. Glickman had two lunches. Yeah, no, I tried. To, I was actually. Uh, I tried to join a gang when I was younger. It wasn't a wasn't a good a idea. You tried to join a gang? Yeah, like it just wasn't good. What gang? Uh, it's should I, should, don't, should I say? Wow, like, like, it's L- I'm from LA. It's in LA. You know, it's unreasonable. Man, fuck it. It's a cult. Oh it's like, shit! How Maybe you shouldn't have. Yeah, said. <laughs> it's like how we're gonna bleep that. Actually, that's the best gang. Yeah, so. just bleep it, please. Yeah. But no, it's funny because like, how do you? It's crazy going to like bang on someone with like a ridiculous name because they look at you like that's really your name. You'd be like, yeah, don't say anything about it. You know, it just doesn't really work. So I should really bleep that one out. Yeah, for <laughs> okay. sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't think. No, never mind. Yeah, it's just a little bleep. Because yeah. they probably just don't want anybody talking about other gang, right? I don't know. Like it's a it's a weird society because it's kind of like what the fuck made you think you could get into it though? Right? They must have just laughed at you. They're all standing on the front stoop laughing at you. Because yeah, like he, dude, I used to sell meth on a scooter. Like it just didn't work. Just oh. Westchester Park. Okay. Because right. everything has come naturally and easy for him. Because exactly. actually, like, the he's like, "Hey, can I be in your Mexican gang? You need another white guy." <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I once. Uh, yeah. So where do you live now? I just moved to Koreatown. Nice. Yeah. How's that going for you? No better time to be near a bunch of Asian people than when there's a virus. I am yeah, a chef at a Korean barbecue restaurant now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, it's awesome. It's just parking's a bitch. But and no, I like it. It's way closer to everything, you know, because I was they, living in they South been Bay. eyeballing your new dog that you got yeah mm-hmm. it honestly it makes me really nervous because like i've it. had people look at like and then lick their lips it's just like what are you doing man yeah that's it's unreasonable you ever notice that the drivers are bad around koreatown i i do yeah it's uh, pretty crazy i it? actually almost got into an accident on the way over would you here. say that out of all the racial stereotypes asian driving it seems to be blatantly the biggest one like the most true stereotype out well, of every race it's different because like my grand oh, not my grandma my stepmom's from cambodia and like she's just an extremely careful driver i wouldn't necessarily say bad but it's like irritating driving with her you know i'm not talking about slow. cambodians bro you know what the you fuck said I'm asians come on man. No, cambodia is like, a reach cambodia is cambodia is like, like calling puerto rico america it's like i guess so <laughs> yeah but it's like if you look at her you're not going to be like you must be from cambodia you're going to be like you're asian as shit you know it's just kind of like... But isn't mm. she sort of darker? I mean, Cambodians have like uh, olive skin. See, the thing with Cambodia is like the whole culture is just a bunch of different mixed people. Like you'll have people who are like half Cambodian, half Thai, half Thai, half Chinese, God, and a little I'm bit starving. of Cambodia. starving. Is anybody else starving <laughs> up here? Jesus. Just read that. Can, I have the, uh, can I have the half Cantonese, half Thai? <laughs> All right. So what else about you? I mean, there must be something. I deadlift a lot, so... Get the sure. fuck out of here. What? Really? Can you, you know, deadlift like the, Jeremiah Watkins? I was just think? about to say, I'm pretty sure I could deadlift Red Band. Whoa! Oh, oh, come on. Yeah, if you try to I, lift him, you'll be I'm dead. I'm not going to lie. I think I, like, from the ground, I, Red Band's not going to do you, it. Why don't you start off with Jeremiah first? Nah, it's you, like, you, you, so heavy. The, cra- the crazy thing is him deadlifting Red Band would be the most exercise Red Band's done in a while. <laughs> just yeah, at least that was a part of it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you I know what? I'll one-up you. I bet you can do it. But to prove your true strength, I think you should get right at the tip of the stage and deadlift Glickman. Oh shit! Would you be down, Glickman? You're gonna die. <laughs> Let's do it. Do my do my core so how, strong. How right much now. can you deadlift? I can deadlift three eighty. So you think your core is strong? You should see his core. <laughs> my core is fantastic right now. Deadlift? How? Uh, it's got a crust, a mantle, and a core. Three eighty. I mean, I'm not three eighty. All right, so he can do it. How much do you weigh? You think? I'm three uh, three oh eight. 307 if you take it. that cell phone out of your pocket let's do it all right I believe here we you. go here we go here it is the uh hold on a second here what is that i don't know yeah what is that okay stand right out there stand social distance from me while you deadlift <laughs> man is this exciting or what please do- okay wait you're gonna ho- you're gonna pull him up by his hoodie and pants The fetal position. <laughs> Glickman. Glick, 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 Glickman. This is, this is exactly how his Shrek audition. Steve, Steven's now. fly is already down. He's right. All right. Glickman's bailing out. Jeremiah, what do you think? I mean, if this guy thinks he can lift Glickman, will you let him squat you? I don't know. It's a, who, who else? Are there, are there any fat people out there that would like to get squatted? All right, everybody's afraid of you, Mike. I'm sorry. Uh, Anybody can squat me. I'm not very. I'm not very. 
be heavy. Really? But you're like six foot seven, according to you on an airplane. <laughs> 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 but wouldn't that mean you're heavy if you're so tall? And you have the same confidence as my height. <laughs> I have better confidence than your height. How about you? How many people <laughs> see him deadlift to Michael Larry and his wheelchair? <laughs> there you go. I don't know. Here's if a I guy do that. that doesn't have a choice. <laughs> yeah. If you lift this wheelchair over your head, I'll soon okay. be deadlift. <laughs> Just make sure, whatever you do, Mike, just please, for the love of fucking God, don't drop him. This is probably a horrible idea. This God. is a very Colette is idea, dying over there. Like, Why is he so strong? Oh, no. This is a horrible idea. Wow. Oh, my Look God. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. <laughs> Michael Holy Lair. shit. <laughs> wow! What's incredible about this is Michael Lair has so much dead weight. He actually weighs the same as Glickman. <laughs> wow! wow. He's finishing off. How about a hand for dude. Michael Lair? Nice job, Michael. A fucking real fucking improv player right there. This guy will fucking roll with anything, How literally and metaphorically. Him. Um, Mike, you are extremely strong. He was a lot heavier than you thought. Yeah, that was like I was like, what? The? It's okay. a special kind of dead weight that fucking ALS. I was this close from dropping him. I was like, this I would not be good. Oh god! Jeez, and you thought you could do me or Glickman? What the fuck? Well, I can deadlift no. you guys. <laughs> I'm like, telling you, process. I'm telling you, I saw something. I saw what happened there, and it's <laughs> what it's what I'm saying is true. Michael Lair has a special kind of dead weight. Like, it, I'm, look, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be. I was expecting him to fly right up yeah. once he got his arms <laughs> no. underneath him, and sure enough, <laughs> just. <laughs> Get him out of the rafters. <laughs> so heavy. Yeah, that's incredible. Michael wow. Lair. Real man. That's what a body feels like. All, you that, know? all that fucking Michael Lair cock in those pants. Yeah, you got a 10 foot cock, dude. That's just going to weigh a lot. All right, Mike. Well, so much fun, man. Incres Thank you. Impressive strength. Fun times. Fun interview. Thanks for coming. Mike Silver. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thanks, buddy. We're having fun. We're having fun. This is it. This is the final comedian of the night right here. We're going to do this and get the fuck out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Gino Riccardi. Here we go. Good brisk jog. Gino Riccardi. Me and my girlfriend are in an open relationship. Uh, that means two things. Uh, she's allowed to date other dudes, and I'm allowed to fuck hookers. Um, nobody's fucking me for free. I'm 5'7". I look like... An extra from the Fast and the Furious franchise. I'm broke. No, it's just not happening for free. Uh, she always asks me, like, she'll go out on a date and she'll come back. She's like, what did you do while I was gone? I'm like, I fucking got high and watched a movie in peace without having to narrate it to the person next to me. <laughs> Whenever I get laid, she always has to ask me, all right, how much of our money did you just spend? That's what I got for you, man. You got 21 seconds. I got, got 21 seconds? Yep. Um, it's funny you're doing people good. always Gina Riccardi. Um, yeah shit's different than it used to be um, having tattoos on your face used to mean you were a dangerous person now it just means you drink White Claw <laughs> there you go Gina Riccardi beautiful Very nice. Gina fun set you've been doing this a little while huh yeah a little bit what? was I supposed to be looking there by the way yeah you're, look you're doing everything just right Okay, you're doing you're doing it just right. But if the, at any point you want to say anything insanely funny or weird, you should say it to that camera. Dude, I hope I'm not looking at my future. <laughs> Actually, Joel, this looks look, more like your past. Looks like, I don't know. I don't know what. I was going to say your present, maybe. No. All oh, right. Sorry. So, Gino, let's catch up. This is your first time on the show. First time. How long have you been on stand up? I'm going to guess four to six years. About four. There you go. Getting into four. Where at? Phoenix, Arizona. Yes. No. Are you serious? No. Fuck, I started in Orange County. And then okay. I've been doing That's Los the Angeles Phoenix thing. vibes I'm getting. Yeah. Same place, basically, just different areas. Okay. I find people in Arizona know how to keep themselves kept like they're all attractive mm -hmm. for some reason. I'm going to go to my senior fat correspondence to both sides okay. of me here. You know, I'm uh, wrong. Uh, <laughs> 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 all right. Gino. So you live in Orange County still? Yeah, I still live you, in Orange County. What do you do for work? Um, in the before times, I was a bartender at a hotel at the Doubletree. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, it's good the most cookies. Laid-back job. Good, good cookies. cookies at the Double Very Tree. Oh, they yeah, are nice. amazing. They're warm. They let you sometimes have two of you sweet talk the clerk at the counter. <laughs> wow. You don't just steal them, cat burglar? Uh, sometimes you have to be polite, cat burglar. <laughs> wow. All right. So you were a bartender at a hotel. How about now? What are you doing to survive? Um, I'm on unemployment. Right. This is the only time I've ever been able to do stand-up seven days a week, so I'm taking advantage. Absolutely. Have yeah. you been doing it seven days a week? Pretty much, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. You're just wow. going everywhere, different places, hustling? Everywhere, yeah. How, how does it make you feel performing? Cold. It's cold outside. It's Jesus weird. Christ. It's cold? It's cold. It's exo- Everything's in a park outside oh. somewhere in the dark. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, and uh, you drive from Orange County every day? Every single day. What kind of car do you have? Camry. I have a Honda Fit. Oh, I hate oh, Honda. I fits. hate them so much. Do you drive like shit? You can't help it. That's why people hate Prius drivers and yep. like because there's no acceleration. There's yeah, no you, like you can't peel out. It's the worst. Yeah. Do you ever go in the far left lane on the freeway? I mean, I when I get up there, you don't, know what? Don't do people, it anymore, please. I'm please. an excellent. Can you tell driver. all the Honda Fit people to stay the fuck out of that lane? You just don't belong there. Yes, that is the only time when we that have Tony is far left is on the highway. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> For those of you that remember my political views, uh, I'm not far left very often, except for on almost all social issues. But look at these idiots running this fucking city now. Anyway, uh, Glickman, what, what do you think? Oh, uh, what's uh, <laughs> tell me about this uh, open relationship? This real? Oh, good this question. Serious? Yeah, this is real. Yeah. Why? How long have you been in it? Um, since we started. How long's that? Uh, I, I don't like to count, but it's been long enough. The ballpark. Like she started taking Couple my years, last name. Two months. Like five years. More than four years. More than four years. Yeah. Do you know when it's closing? Uh, that's I don't. That's why I don't like to count. Anytime, like people always like congratulate you on just like not being dead or not, you know, being Let broken up. Let me ask you this. It's weird. I, I never really got it. Yeah. Right. Open relationship. So that that means she can just go out and bang somebody without a condom. No, not without a condom. But I mean, still if, like if she's a big enough, if there. she's a big enough, if she's sexually adventurous enough to go have sex with other people, what makes you think she's sexually adventurous enough to not make someone wear a condom? Because she didn't want to die, I assume. What do you mean die? What do you, you guys still have AIDS in Orange County? No, I assume it's everywhere. He's going to murder her, Tony. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. <laughs> ah, interesting. The same reason I would wear a condom. That's, I mean, the same reason I wear condoms because you fucking don't. You wear condoms catch... with her. No. You wearing wow. a condom right now? <laughs> I'm wearing one right now. Wow. I Has usually she, have a microphone. It's a long condom. drive from Orange County with a flappy condom. Has she it. ever met somebody that like they kind of you know you almost feel like oh she's gonna leave me for this dude? You no, ever, no, no. Why do you think? Have that you is? met any why, of the guys? Why are you so secure that she's not gonna leave you for another guy? Because she's perfect. Like we're like dude, we're just perfect for each other. Well, if you were really perfect for each other, wouldn't you be fucking so often that you don't need to hook up with other people? I don't know how, like, have you been in, like, long-term, like, more than two yes. years? After two years, you've done everything you can do together. There's no more, there's nothing else to explore. And, Jesus. And frankly, damn, I don't want to do a lot of the shit that she really? wants to, a lot of the shit she wants to do, she's, like, super freaky. She wants to get, like, tied up. I'm lazy, dude. She can do that with somebody else, and, like, that's fine, and she comes home, and I'm like, that sounds like it was a lot of work. And it's not like there's no <laughs> pussy left over for me. She, I can literally fuck her any moment of the day I want. If she's sitting there, like, studying or whatever the fuck she does, I can literally just walk by, put my dick in her face for like a minute, and then like walk away. And then she'll just get pissed off that we didn't fuck. But I just wanted to put my dick in something for like a minute. Wow, you just put your dick next to her face for a minute? God, I love love. I mean, this is, it, this it really, is, this is so is... romantic. Wow, that's incredible. That's... This, is, this is love the way that a shot of love with Tila Tequila was love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So Gina, what else about you? What else? What else do you uh, like? Else? Hobbies or anything like that? I play music. I used to be a drug dealer. I, what I wrote kind of a music book. do you play? Uh, I play like what? I just play for fun. So I play what? I play like uh, like musicals, like stuff like that on the piano or whatever, or jazz on the guitar. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. Have you ever dressed up as Jose Aldo for Halloween? Wow. There you go. What was that? It's a reference. Oh, you from, look uh, like Jose Al- You look like a UFC fighter. Oh, okay. Uh, do you sing when you do these musicals on the piano? Um, 
sometimes just to keep pitch. It helps you learn pitch better. Can you give us saying. a little? Can we just hear one little sound of you just doing anything at all whatsoever? No, because I haven't trained oh, come in a while. On, come on. I haven't trained in a while. I was going to sound oh, horrible. Come on. Come on. If Glickman does it for a second, will you do it for a second? Are you saying sing? Yeah. yeah sing. No, I'm you not going to sing. Something. Why? Uh, because it's going to sound bad. What if you move your mouth and then Glickman <laughs> sings for you? <laughs> I would like to hear Glickman's voice coming out of that body. I just do it to train, like for pitch training. It helps. It helps train mm. your ear. Do you know how to pitch a baseball? No. I throw like a girl. It's horrible. Wow. Where'd you, where'd you grow up? Uh, Huntington Beach. Ooh, Huntington yeah. Beach. I know yeah. something about Okay. All right. Huntington Beach was a bunch of white people that want to be gangsters. It's, they all join gangs. It's really weird. Wow. I was in a gang. Did I, did I, did you, you know that? The Apple really? Dumpling Gang. <laughs> <laughs> the Apple Dumpling Gang. <laughs> God, you son of a bitch. What gang were you in? I, I was in a... Uh, Weight uh, Watchers? <laughs> <laughs> I was in a... I was in, did you say Krispy Kreme Gang? Oh, no, Krispy Pork Gang. It's a, it's a restaurant. <laughs> Krispy Pork Gang? I was in a, I was in a, a Crips Gang. That's Wait, uh, what? 100% true. He was you in were Crip? seventh grade. Wolfgang Buck? I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was. I was in the seventh grade in a school that was really tough. Uh, at a little junior high school. He was in the Ku Klux Clams. <laughs> I was in the Ku Klux Clams. That's pretty funny. You were You were a blood pressure there were <laughs> Jesus. no there was a, a bunch of uh, kids that were all in a gang and then uh, a, one of them i was coaching uh, in an acting in an acting scene for for class and then he was like he was like uh he was like hey bro i got you bro and i was like what does that mean and he was like don't worry about it just get, do a hand this hand signal and he like showed me a hand signal and i was like well, okay what's that and then he told all the other kids that all the other guys in the gang that he had jumped me in and then they all showed up uh one day at uh, cuz i was uh, the i was working in the lunchroom i bet you were <laughs> <laughs> and uh and uh, and they all asked me if i was in the gang and then i did the hand signal and then they all were like, this is the funniest thing in the whole world. I was like the fattest little. Of course. Yeah. I was yeah. like a little ball of he fat was, Jew. The gang kid. that he was in was the uh, Hell's Angel food cake. <laughs> I did not last very long. What city was this? Uh, Encinitas, California. It's the big city. Yeah. <laughs> the big city. It's right. a beach city crip. Beach city crip. <sighs> There's a lot of editing I'm going to have to do with all these gangs. No, talk today. Okay. I, think Listen, we're gonna be fine. I think the ones in that one are going to enjoy the show. I, those guys are great guys. <laughs> great senses of humor. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, Gino, thank you so much. Thank really you. great set. Gino Riccardi, everybody. There he goes. Here comes the drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt. We had fun oh, tonight. This was good. Wow. Look at that one. My goodness, Whoa, everybody see. looks fucking stellar. He, he even made Glickman look good on this. Wow, look at me. Wow, the drawing really does take away 20 pounds. <laughs> Guys, how about a big hand? Ryan J. Ebelt, uh, dot com for those prints. How about a big hand for our guest, Stephen Glickman, everybody? Hey, I wow. was here. Stephen Glickman is the host of the nighttime show podcast available everywhere and also check out monster hunter coming out soon yeah nighttime show just recorded its 200th episode with kevin smith so you can uh awesome. Awesome. Shit, it was a that was a good get so we you had can kevin check smith out. here uh for our 420 episode fuck yeah i remember that it was incredible yeah it was good it's a very great guy good. very solid lives right around the corner from here oh shit uh one more time for glickman everybody hey, thanks guys comedy store thanks royalty for having me. Former door guy, worked his way all the way up to being rich. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a big hand for Jeremiah Watkins. This special is still out. Jeremiah! Family reunions out, available everywhere. JeremiahWatkins.com, Amazon. Get it. What else, Jeremiah? Yes, there is Cat Burglar t-shirts at JeremiahWatkins.com. And I've got a great podcast, Jeremiah Wonders, you should catch up on. And I want to give a thank you to Gino from Speedweed, who has been helping me produce it from a long time from Betterbox Studios. And he is a silent supporter of all of us in a lot of times. Uh, so I just want to say thank you to Gino. There it is, indeed. Every single week, Gino hanging, killing it. Guys! The queen bee of the band, Jet Ski Jesse Johnson, was here tonight. 
There she is. Look at that little kitty cat. She has handmade ornaments available at jetskijohnson.com. Anytime ornaments. I mean, Christmas is around the corner. I bet, I bet she can get them delivered before Christmas even. We'll see. <laughs> what else, Jetski? <laughs> um, we, we got roadcasts with uh, Jeremiah. Joel and I were on them. Look out for that. And um, I just want to thank you guys and everybody listening. I just did a show for Ohio University, not the Ohio State. <laughs> uh, oh, I just noticed that today. Wow. I hope you didn't say. I know, but it was so cool. And it was on Twitch and all the comments. I was seeing all this vroom vroom from all over the country and wow. probably the world. And yeah, thank you guys nice. watching. Thank you guys. Well, you're the best, Jetski. You know what I just realized is that cat burglar behind me was Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez the whole goddamn time. Absolutely incredible. Joel, tell us something. Um, shit. Thank you to Ludwig. Thank you to you guys. Thanks to everybody here at the Comedy Store. Uh, I love it. Love you guys. And uh, have a great uh, rest of your year. Oh, red band. Yeah, thanks, uh, Comedy Store, so much, guys. I love you guys, and I'm, I'm going to miss you guys. Comedy Store, Peter Shore. Polly, Richie, Curtis, Jen, everybody that has anything to do with this place. Guys, how about a big hand for Damon Easterwood coming in, unlocking the power of the room for us. Thanks to everybody and everything. Who knows what the future holds, but we will indeed most likely see you guys next week.